This video tutorial I will explain Spring JMS ActiveMQ example with annotation configuration. We will see how to send the product object to queue and how to receive a product object from the queue. Here you can see client 1 which is a message producer. Message producer creates the message and sends the message to the queue. In this example, we will send a product object to the queue. Here you can see client 2 which is a message consumer which consumes message from the queue and once it consumes a message from the queue it acknowledges back to the queue. In this example this consumer consumes product object from the queue and we will use a queue of ActiveMQ in this example. Here you can see pom.xml. Here I have defined the dependencies of Spring JMS and ActiveMQ Spring. Here I have defined the class messaging configuration. It is a configuration class. Spring container read this configuration class and it creates a connection factory object. To create a connection factory object, Spring container needs to know ActiveMQ broker URL. Here I have defined the URL. Once a connection factory object is created, Spring container creates a JMS template object. To create a JMS template object, Spring container needs connection factory object and the message queue. And here I have defined the message queue. Then Spring container creates a message converter here i have defined the class uh, app config which is the main configuration class spring container read this uh, configuration class and uh, it makes sure all the dependent objects are created and uh, auto wired properly jms template provides an abstraction which hides all the complexities of jms communication JMS template will take care of uh, creating the connection, creating the session, creating message producers, creating message consumers, etc. And uh, using JMS template, we can uh, send the message to the queue. And uh, also we can use uh, JMS template to receive message from the queue. Here I have defined the class uh, product which implements uh, serializable interface and uh, it has uh, three properties product ID, name and uh, quantity. Here I have defined the class uh, message sender. It has a send message method which accept a product object. This method is responsible for sending product object to the queue using send method of JMS template. Here I have defined the class message receiver. It has receive message method. This method is responsible for receiving message from the queue. In this example, we will receive a product object from the queue. And here you can see message converter using this we can convert JMS message to Java object and Java object to JMS message. Here you can see ActiveMQ console and queues are empty now. Here I have defined the class message producer app. Here I have created a context object by reading a spring configuration class using a getbean method of context object getting a message sender object from a spring container then i have created a product object then using a send message method of a message sender object sending product object to the queue
here you can see message queue has been created and one message is in the message queue next we will see how to consume uh, this message here i have defined a class uh, message consumer app here i have created a context object by reading a spring configuration class using a get bean method of a context object getting a message receiver object from a spring container then calling a receive message method to receive a product object from the queue then i am printing the product object and here we can see we received a product object from the queue message has been consumed so number of pending messages are zero you can get uh, java source code link from the description of the video in mobile to see the description click on uh, this icon it will expand like this and uh, here you can see the description it contains uh, java source code links click on these links to get the java source code 